Hi, it's Stephen Lowry at Security National Life. Hello, final expense winners. Today, I'm gonna to give you an introduction to my three options sales presentation. Now, this is the presentation that I use when I'm not competing with another insurance company. So stay tuned, hope you learn something that's useful to you and go out there and sell something, thanks. So my three options presentation works like this. I walk into the house, I've got a lead card, I sit down at the kitchen table, and as always, I have to answer the question, why? Why am I here? So the first thing I do is I slide that lead card across the table and I uh, say to the prospect, Mr. Prospect, the reason I stopped by today is because my postcard, my office sent you this postcard in the mail a few weeks ago. And you filled out the card, you sent it back to us, and I wanna thank you for that. Um, let me remind you what it says. It says that you may qualify for a state regulated program to pay your final expenses, regardless of your medical condition, even if you've been turned down before. Now, Mr. Prospect, I'm always curious what would make someone fill out a card like this and send it back to my office. And what most people tell me is they don't wanna be a burden for their loved ones. And Mr. Prospect will generally agree with that. He'll nod his head up and down and say, yeah, that's right. I don't want to be a burden for my loved ones. And so at that point, I'm going to try to find out who his loved ones are. I'm going to ask about his kids and grandkids and just establish that these are the people that he's trying to protect as he uh, moves into a final expense plan. Now, I use the three options presentation when I'm not competing with another insurance company. So I'm going to ask Mr. Prospect, do you have any plan in place to pay your final expenses? And he'll, if he says no, then I know that I'm not competing with another insurance company. So I'm going to say, Mr. Prospect, you've basically got three options to handle your final expenses. Option number one is to do nothing. Now, that's a pretty good option because if you do nothing, it's free. There's no cost. And your final expenses become someone else's problem. That's someone else being your, your children who have to come up with the, the money to pay your final expenses um, themselves. And uh, that's okay because it's free and you don't have anything else to worry about at this point. So that's a pretty good option. Option number two would be a prepaid funeral. Are you familiar with this? And no matter what Mr. Prospect says, yeah, he's familiar with it or no, he's not. I'm going to ask him, how much do funerals cost? And he's going to generally say something in the neighborhood of $10,000. And I'll agree with him. And I'll say, so here's what a prepaid funeral is, Mr. Prospect. You go down to the funeral home today. I'll even give you a ride over there. You write them a check for $10,000 and they will sign a contract to provide a funeral for you when you pass away. Mr. Prospect's gonna have a problem with that because $10,000 hurts. It's hard to come up with $10,000. So, I will say, well, you know, they will finance a prepaid funeral for you. They'll usually give you about three years to pay it off. $10,000 at three years is roughly $270 a month payment. So, all you got to do is go down to the funeral home, pick out the things that you want for your funeral, and whatever the cost is, they'll, they'll give you a payment plan, generally somewhere around three years, about $270 a month to pay it off. Does that sound like a good option for you? And he'll always say no, because that's a high monthly payment. And I'll say, Mr. Prospect, there is a third option. And the third option is a whole life policy. So let me describe to you how a whole life policy works. It has a premium that is affordable. Much, much less 
than $270 a month, and it never rises. Mr. Prospect, a whole life policy can't be canceled. Now, the client can cancel it. You can, but the insurance company can't. As long as you make your premiums on time, your policy will go through. A whole life policy builds a cash value. And that's money that you can use while you're still alive. I don't recommend it, but it is there for you. And finally, a whole life plan is insurance. And here's why that's important. If you get on a $270 a month payment plan for a funeral and you die after the first month, your family owes the balance of that $10,000. Insurance doesn't work that way. With insurance, if, when you pass away, your family gets the entire amount. Now, there are a few exceptions. Those would be if you ended up in a modified policy because of your health conditions. But even modified policies pay the entire amount after two years. Or always in the event of an accident. So you told me a little while ago that you thought that a prepaid funeral was not an option for you because the payment was too high. So that leaves us with option number one, which is to do nothing, and that doesn't cost anything. It's free. Or a whole life plan, which has a very affordable premium that will never rise over time. A whole life plan can't be canceled. It builds a cash value. And the beauty of it is that it is insurance. So that if you pass away, before you pay in the face amount of the policy, your family still gets the entire benefit. Which of these seems like the best option to you? And at that point, Mr. Prospect is nine times out of 10 gonna choose a whole life policy. We will start working on a quote that is easy to afford. And then I'm gonna ask Mr. Prospect, what's your social? So folks, that's it. That's how I write an insurance policy when I am not competing with another company. I use what's called the three options presentation. It was taught to me by another agent long ago. And uh, good luck selling. Thank you. Bye.